juggler. You canker blossom, you thief of love. What have you come by night and stolen my love's heart from him? Fine, if faith. Have you no modesty, no maiden shame, no touch of bashfulness? What, will you tear impatient answers from my gentle tongue? Fie, fie, you counterfeit, you puppet, you! Puppet? Why so? Aye, that way goes the game. Now I perceive that she hath made compare between our statues. She hath urged her height, and with her personage, her tall personage, her height forsooth. She hath prevailed with him. And are you grown so high in his esteem because I am so dwarfish and so low? <laughs> How low am I, thou painted maypole? Speak! How low am I? I am not yet so low but that my nails can reach unto thine eyes. Yeah! I pray you, though you mock me, gentlemen, let her not hurt me. I was never cursed. I have no gift at all in shrewishness. I am a right maid for my cowardice. Let her not strike me. You perhaps may think because she is something lower than myself that I can match her. No, I can gain. But Hermia, do not be so bitter with me. I evermore did love you, Hermia. Did ever keep your counsels, never wronged you. Save that in love unto Demetrius. I told him of yourself unto this wood. <laughs> Yeah. He followed you for love, I followed him. But he had chid me hence, and threatened me to strike me, spurn me, nay, to kill me too. And now, so you will let me quiet go, to Athens will I bear my folly back and follow you no further, let me go. You see how simple and how fond I am? Why get you gone? Who is that hinders you? A foolish heart that I leave here behind. What with Lysander? With Demetrius. Be not afraid, she shall not harm thee, Helena. No, sir, she shall not, though you take her part. <laughs> Oh, when she's angry, she's keen and shrewd. She was a vixen when she went to school. <laughs> and though she be but little, she is fierce. Little again, nothing but low and little. Why would you suffer her to fear?